John Podesta came out, spoke to your supporters, saying that Hillary Clinton uh, was not going to have any comments that evening. A lot of people were surprised that there was not going to be any seeming closure that evening, given the fact that it was apparent that Donald Trump had won. Um, we know now that, that President Obama called Secretary Clinton and said, you need to concede. She did call Donald Trump and she did concede. Um, the next morning she was going to give her concession speech. It took a couple hours before she got to the stage and gave the speech, a much celebrated speech praised by everyone. What was going on behind the scenes? Well, little fact checking there. Okay, you know, first please. of all, well, we set the time for that speech the night before. Uh, we wanted to give our people time to, to show up and be there and get through security and so on. So the, it, it's not as if that speech was delayed. We, we set that time at maybe four the in the morning. The impression that a lot of us like had that. was, boy, this, she's having a tough time with this. Certainly understandably no. so, no? No, and in fact, some of these reports are, you know, like Kellyanne, I'm not gonna get into private conversations that were had. She made the decision to call Donald Trump. No, uh, before. She didn't do that because President Obama she told made, her. She made that decision on her own before she spoke to the president. And, um, and she made it because she believed and she had said during the campaign that, who, that it is important to our democracy that whoever uh, wins, uh, uh, that their opponent uh, concede the election and be supportive uh, of them becoming president-elect. And so she acted in, in good faith with that.